Do you hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence. It keeps this channel ad-free. Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and today we have this cool pen from uh, my buddy Ian Schoen at Schoen Design. I just got this in the mail. I have some idea what's in it because he asked if I could, he could send it, and I'm like, yeah, of course, dude. So let's get in here. It's my uh, trusty Spyderco PM2. A much more delicate box opener than I used last time, uh, and it gets the job done very easily. All right, Woo. All right, he sent a bunch of things. <laughs> it's a really fun note uh, from Ian saying, uh, hey, here's the anniversary ballpoint. So this ballpoint is celebrating the 10th anniversary of Shown Design, which is kind of great. Uh, let me uh, get in here. What do you have here? Uh, here is the Shown Design. Pocket 6 is the, um, the current knurled edition there. Fun stuff. Pocky, the Pocket 6. <laughs> Good stuff. We have... That's a spacer. <laughs> ah, there's the pen. All right, let me get all. Let me get these parts out of here, and then we'll reconvene. Okay, I've made a little bit of room on the desk, and we'll get to this beautiful pen here in just a sec. I just want to show uh, sort of a few of the Shown Designs pens that uh, that I have around here, and sort of the the evolution of this thing. This is the original pocket pen. Actually, this is the maybe the second edition of the pocket pen because it has a clip. The original was clipless, so it just looked like that, right? Uh, these use a space pen design with this little set screw in the back, which you can unscrew using using that. I always thought that was just a genius move. And then just pop out the refill uh, to replace it. This is a great pen. It's one that I have uh, carried in my pocket for uh, years at this point. And it still looks really good. I've <laughs> I've seen Ian's and his is all scraped up and stuff. I think he throws it in with his keys. I usually try to like clip it to my pocket above the keys. But these are great pens. Very comfortable to use. Uh, this one is uh, aluminum, I believe. Great pen. Good length to write with. Uh, then we have the Pocket 6, which is his fountain pen that uh, he released, I don't know, what, two-ish years ago? Maybe three? I don't know, man. Uh, this is my, my newest one of those Pocket 6s. It is a fountain pen. Again, screw on the back to post. Full-size Yovo number 6 nib. Really nice little pocket pen. I have... Audrey and I have collected a few of those over the last few years. Then the engineered plastics with uh, this Ultim, also peak and black Ultim pens. And then most recently, the, uh, the aluminum version, the anodized version of this uh, full-size fountain pen right here. Great stuff. Now this one right here is the new version of that pocket pen. Ian had been wanting to build in some more flexibility. Oh, this is beautiful. Look how shiny this is before Mike gets his fingers on it and tarnishes it all up. Uh, we have shown design here, written around the edge of the cap there. We have a little glyph, 12 little dots. I didn't ask him what that means. I didn't know it was gonna be there. Nothing on the top or the bottom. Screw to post threads here. This is solid brass and you can feel it. It is a weighty pen. One thing about the Pocket 6 is that it is so light that sometimes I'll have it in my pocket and I will forget it's there. And I'll be like, oh yeah, I needed my pen. Where'd it go? And I'm frantically like patting my pockets and stuff because this weighs nothing. Uh, this has more weight because it's got thicker walls and that sort of thing. This has more weight again, which is pretty nice. Uh, also, you'll notice that there is not a set screw uh, here in the bottom because he has uh, redesigned this pen and no longer uses that set screw or that, uh, that refill. So looking down in the cap there, you can see the screws for, uh, for, the, for the clip. Uh, there is an O-ring. Yep, there's a little O-ring right in there, hidden. Then we have here the point of the pen, still very similar. Not as uh, not as skinny as the original pen. I, well, actually, well, that's caliper time. All right, so it is slightly larger, although not very much. I, I, I knew it looked larger, but then I got them next to each other, and I was like, well, I don't know, maybe, but it is. Uh, and then this unscrews in a very traditional, oh, this feels very smooth. Oh, yeah, another O-ring. The O-ring and the th look at little tiny threads on this thing. Those are great. Yeah, extremely smooth. Really nice. Wow, that is, those are some of the smoothest metal threads I've ever felt, honestly. 
Those feel, those feel silky smooth. That's great. Okay. Uh, inside here is a uh, Schmidt Easy Flow 9000. This is a Parker style refill, and there are a bunch of options in this refill style. Uh, my very favorite is made by Jetstream, but they're a little bit on the harder, harder to find side and a little bit on the expensive side. But Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, a very good refill. I imagine it will take other things too. Um, although it does have, you can see down there, that little stop. So probably not too many things, but it is very nice that it can take that. Let's see how long this is when you post it and unpost it. All right, so unposted, this feels like it's longer. It is just longer than the original. Uh, but I could use the original unposted for short uh, little you know bits of writing. This one, I feel it's a little bit longer and a little bit wider as well, which I think helps. So that feels good. Let's see how long it is posted. Posts very nicely. Let's go ahead and do this one. Very comparable. Just a touch longer than the original. But not too bad even posted. Although the cap does add a fair amount of weight. It's not an unwieldy amount. I think I could use this. I'll I'll write some pages and stuff before I uh, before I make that determination totally, but uh, feels good. Okay. Let's move this over here. Now, he sent me a bunch of other paraphernalia, and that's because you can change out the grip section on this pen to use the same grip sections. It looks like these are pocket six grip, se grip sections. Let me unscrew this, put it off to the side. Uh, this is a rollerball uh, refill, or sorry, a rollerball tip here that you can use fountain pen ink. It's a standard international converter, or um, cartridge, standard international short cartridge. This one's empty, of course, just a spacer, but that goes in here. And you can use it as a rollerball. That's pretty cool, a fountain pen powered rollerball or fountain pen ink powered rollerball. He also sent me, oh, that was really nice of him. This is the section that I that I prefer, which is the uh, larger sort of rippled section. Uh, it gives me a little bit more girth and uh, I like that. Let's see how it fits in there. Perfectly, of course. And then lastly, he sent this which is a pocket six section for the fountain pen. You can do this. Yeah, you can use it as a fountain pen if you like with the same, um, same little international uh, converter or cartridge rather. And then this was a thing he warned me about. And that is that since this uh, this is sort of a, it's not really meant to do this, this is kind of a hack, uh, the, <laughs> the clip doesn't line up necessarily with the top of the nib and that annoys Ian. So he said, well, you can do it, but he's gonna say like, look, be aware that the clip, if you uh, post this thing, might be in a not top position and he's not satisfied with that. So he's not saying this is necessarily a fountain pen. It is first a roller ball or a ballpoint and uh, thirdly, a fountain pen. It is fountain pen capable, and the way that mine is orientated, you can, uh, this actually feels fine because it puts the clip right there, and I feel like that's gonna be pretty okay. So, not a problem there. I wonder if I use another one of these, if it'll put it in a different, in a different place. Let's try this. Yeah, yeah, it matters where the threads start and that sort of thing. Because in order to match this up, I think he'd have to match the threads start in two different places here, both here and this, uh, the internal threads that let you screw in this, um, this nib unit. And you'd have to match that to the threading on the back here. Uh, I think that would be a big old pain in the butt. So <laughs> I understand why it doesn't do that, especially since it's not really meant to be a fountain pen. It is meant to be a ballpoint or a rollerball. So let's go ahead and put it back in its original, uh, original recipe here. Man, those are some smooth threads. I really like that. All right, three modes, one pen. Very cool. Uh, I'm going to assume, he didn't say, but I'm going to assume you can buy uh, these things separately, or if you already have pocket sixes, you can take the ones off of your, your the pocket sixes you have uh, to use. But um, he didn't say. I'm sure it doesn't come with all these parts and attachments. That would be kind of unwieldy, perhaps. But this is the anniversary ballpoint from Shown Design, Ian Shown. Really, really nice looking pen. I'm looking forward to uh, to putting some putting some pages underneath this and uh, seeing how it feels and how it carries in the pocket and that sort of thing. But um, the more I get used to the weight, uh, the more I like it. Let me get out my scale right quick. We'll see how uh, how this thing weighs out compared to other things. Okay, it's coming in at 70 grams, which is fairly heavy. 
Here's the original one. This is the aluminum. Comes in at 33. So it's about twice as heavy as the aluminum one. I'm not surprised. This is solid brass. So pretty, uh, pretty weighty uh, compared here to the full size fountain pen at 27 ish. So uh, a couple times, <laughs> a couple of these as well. Uh, this is even lighter. Let's see. Here's a diplomat arrow. Coming about 40, it's a bit heavier than that. Yeah, I don't have anything in this weight class sitting right here in front of me, but I'm, I'm not surprised by it. Actually, well, here was, what's this way? Yeah, 32. So yeah, as a big piece of brass, wait, I have a brass thing, here we go. This is bronze, this is a bronze, uh, yeah, so about 51 grams. So a bit heavier than this bronze pen, but it's also quite a lot bigger than this bronze pen, so. I'm not terribly surprised by that either. So yeah, it's a it's a big hefty pen, this brass one, but you know what you're getting into if you buy a brass pen. That's kind of how these roll. These in brass will be available on Wednesday at noon. That is uh, the uh, second, yeah, the second of March, and they're gonna go for 150 bucks a piece as a ballpoint. So check out his site that day and that then, and uh, I, I'm excited to see what else he's got coming in this line of pen because while these might all be brass, there are going to be, I'm certain, all kinds of these sorts of things and that whatnot going on in these uh, these bodies. It's really, it's really quite nice. <laughs> it's so much bigger than the Pocket 6 even. There you go. So if you're like, ah, oh, the Pocket 6 is too small. Wait until you get some of these perhaps in a, in a different like anodization uh, style. That might be might be a nice inter intermediate uh, size for you there. Yeah, very cool. All right, thanks very much, Ian, for sending this out for me to show everybody. Uh, and uh, y'all go check out Ian's uh, work over at shownedesign.com. Uh, all links and such in the description as well. I will see y'all later on. Peace out.